Hi everyone, it's Amy from Kahuna Co here, coming to you live from Kahuna, as you can see. I hope you're all well. And welcome to the 43rd episode of Lunchtimes with Locals. Now, normally we head off to a local business and um, have a chat with them every Friday at 1 p.m. and we do it live on Facebook. Um, but during COVID, we've had to get a little bit creative and do a few different things, take some tours around Kahuna, um, do some sort of sessions on things like Instagram and, and other things like that that I like people to know about. But today we've been asked to do a very special episode and I'm absolutely honoured that I've been asked by the family of a local legend to um, take some video while his uh, the hearse um, carrying Leo through Kahuna and past his beloved tavern um, while well, it goes past so that people who aren't in Kahuna can farewell Leo Brereton who was a local legend, a local character and um, loved by so many people. So I think yeah, like I said, what a wonderful honour and I'm so glad that I can, we can have this technology and that Leo's family and friends can uh, join us and farewell him. Now his actual funeral will also be live streamed, um, that will be on the AG Adams and Son website which I'll put a link up to in a second. Uh, I'm just keeping a lookout to make sure I'm not going to, to miss anything. So stick with me and as soon as I see any action I'll uh, flip the camera around and um, and I'll, I'll go quiet because uh, Leo's family said that they will treasure this video, especially the ones that couldn't be here. So um, if anyone's got any memories of Leo or any comments or any questions, if you didn't know Leo, but you might've seen him hooning around town on his gopher, then, you know, please put it in the comments. Tell us where you're watching from. Um, tell us, yeah, your memories of Leo. Um, his family are watching, so make sure you do a, you know, say hi if you want because they'll see they'll see the comments and uh, and that'll be really special for them. So uh, Leo passed away earlier this week. He passed away in his uh, home, which was a cabin in the caravan park, and I believe he'd lived there for about 23 years. So he was one of the very few caravan park permanent residents that are, are left. And um, I think there's only four of them uh, left. And um, they had their own little community in the caravan park and um, they, they were just like family to each other. So uh, what a wonderful relationship. And Leo's daughter, Deb, she's been um, down in Kahuna supporting him um, earlier in the year, all his life really, earlier in, his, in the year. And also, you know, she was there when he passed away peacefully. So. You know, he's had a wonderful life. He made it to 83, very close to his 84th birthday, so I'm told. So, um, yeah, had a great innings. And, yeah, now that I've had to, you know, had learned some of the stories about Leo, one of the um, words that keeps coming out from pretty much everyone is that he was an absolute character. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, kind of wish that this interview could have been done, um, you know, with him over a dry ginger ale, which was his drink of choice, um, at the tavern. So we'll head over to the tavern later on and maybe have a, have a chat. There's a bit of a gathering of people over there uh, waiting uh, to farewell Leo. And uh, we might get some funny stories or some um, find out why he was such a character, perhaps, from a lot of friends that, that knew him and um, have great memories of him. So let us know where you're watching from. Hi Michelle, the Dales from Melbourne. Yes, well that's one, one thing. I'm really glad that we can do this sort of thing and um, you know bring this experience to everyone so that even if you can't be here, if you're in Melbourne or if you couldn't travel from New South Wales or Queensland, then you know I'm really I'm really glad that we could we could do that. And um, yeah, it was a very last minute sort of thing. And I had a chat to Deb last night, and I've, I've seen her um, various times during. Uh, uh, in the town um, supporting Leo so hi everyone thanks for watching and joining in make sure you share it if, if you know someone that might also like to watch I hope that the uh, um, technology <laughs> actually <laughs> stands up for us today but it's amazing there's quite a few people gathered outside of the tavern which was um, Leo's favorite hangout apart from the caravan park and apparently he would go to the tavern every single day 
at a certain time in the morning and a certain time in the evening and sit in his little stool in the corner um, and have his dry ginger ale. And I did get a story last night that even when he was discharged from hospital one day, one of the nurses was on their way home from their shift and Leo hadn't even made it back to the caravan park. He had actually stopped off at the tavern and his gopher was parked out the front and they were like, that naughty boy. <laughs> just <laughs> couldn't wait to get out and go back and see his friends at the tavern. And um, one of the reporters from the um, Bar uh, Barron Bridge newspaper did a, a whole article, a whole interview with Leo, I think it was earlier this year or not too long ago. And, you know, she had some great stories in there. And um, yeah, she, she said that she didn't know him beforehand. And yeah, afterwards, they just had such a great chat. And one of his comments was that he just absolutely loved his time at the tavern seeing people connecting with people catching up with everyone and yeah he he just uh, absolutely loved it and the the owners of the tavern are relatively new to town jamie and vicky williams they've only been in town 12 months and the bonds are very evident that they have formed with um, one of their most regular customers and visitors and uh, they you know they've been fantastic today having people gather outside the tavern and then they've, they've closed the doors later on for a small wake um, so that people can gather in the restricted numbers, of course, um, and farewell Leo. And they're going to live stream his funeral um, onto the big screens at the tavern as well. So um, I might just walk over here in case uh, things start happening soon. But yeah, let us know any funny memories of Leo he's he's had a quite a interesting life oh one of the main things I didn't mention was that he played for Carlton that's what everyone remembers him for <laughs> he was much more than that of course but let me tell you that at age 20 he started playing for Carlton and he played 72 senior games which is incredible between 1957 and 62 yes I have to refer to my notes because I'm not going to get those stats right and he was even the 1960 leading goal kicker. So what an absolute legend. And um, there was a few funny stories. I think he ended up decking the coach uh, at some point. So that ended his uh, VFL career <laughs> quite abruptly. And um, he ended up moving around a little bit and then coming back and settling in Kahuna. So um, Leo also has uh, Linda, a daughter, and he's got uh, several grandchildren and great grandchildren. Um, who love him dearly and the love that he had for them came through that interview that he did with the journalist uh, from the Barron Bridge. Um, yeah, he just, you could tell how much he absolutely loved his um, family uh, as well as his actual local community around here. What else can we say? I think a lot of people, if they didn't even know Leo personally, they definitely would have seen him around town on his gopher going backwards and forwards across the bridge um, to the caravan park and back to the tavern and his gopher is proudly parked out outside the tavern. Goodness me, I think I might get a little bit of dust in my eye in a minute because I, I'll tell you, show you what's happening down the street here. Pretty cool. So we've got some balloons over there, um, some Carlton coloured balloons of course. And then we've got bit of a crowd happening over there outside the bow tab and they're all obviously socially distancing very well of course um, it's a little bit busy uh, everyone's got their masks on and all that sort of uh, safe stuff I don't have my mask on because when I'm doing the live video apparently I don't have to wear one so that's good about 44 people watching so that's um great and i will uh post this so that people can watch on replay as well obviously some people are working or um, unable to watch at the moment so uh, definitely i'll post the replay so that it can um be watched over the weekend and people can um, have a listen enjoy the stories see if they can spot other local legends in the crowd over there that they know um just looking at my notes. Leo used to work at Carlton and United Breweries for 18 years. And people from there remembered him with a terry toweling hat on and a pet bird. 
think I need to investigate that story a little bit more. <laughs> that sounds uh, very funny. And then I did see a post from um, Jess who used to manage the caravan park and, and she put a lovely, uh, lovely, some lovely words up about Leo on, on her Facebook page and she said uh, it had a lot of mention about birds. So someone might have to enlighten me about, um, about these bird stories. He must have had a bit of an affinity with birds. And something else that someone that was in one of the stories was that, um, you know, he loved his footy, loved his sport, of course, but um, back in the day when he was growing up, he couldn't, his family only had one footy, so he had to share with his brothers. And, um, and uh, that instead, he used to kick around a footy made of paper and he used to kick it in between the goalposts, which were gum trees. So... Um, I think that's a pretty awesome story. All right, we've got a, some action coming here now.
on Jamie. Right, thanks, <laughs> So there we go. There we go. <laughs> we um, what a tribute, hey? All those people giving Leo one. Oh, getting all emotional. It's very nice, wasn't it? Giving Leo a send off like that. You can just tell what a um, good community we are, and how much people care about other people, and. Uh, you know, um, even in current times, it is really hard to say goodbye to people. So uh, it's really nice that we can do do that sort of thing. So that concludes today's um, episode. Thank you for watching along. Make sure you, you know, send the family some messages and and um, yeah, keep the memories coming of Leo. So have a lovely day, everyone, and stay safe. Bye.